Hey guys, it's Stephanie here from Alta Citizen. Um, today is Wednesday, which is our YouTube day, um, that we come send you a lot of uh, fun tips, tricks, and how to's. So today I figured why not try something fun in celebration of one of our leasing um, manager's birthday. So our actually our assistant manager, Nancy, today is her 22nd birthday a few times over. And I figured maybe a nice glass of wine to celebrate. So today I have this bottle of wine right here. But my only problem is I don't have a bottle opener. So with the corkscrew being in here, I thought maybe we would try this old myth out that you can take a shoe and slam the bottle against the wall and the corkscrew will pop out. So I have on normal clothes today, as you can see, because I've never done this before and I don't know how it's gonna turn out and I don't know if I'm going to need to change clothes um, and I don't wanna ruin anything really good. So um, we're gonna start by taking off the protective cover on the wine. And again, you can see um, this is not my forte. I don't do this very often. I'm pretty sure there's got to be a way to do this. All right, so right now we're taking off the protective covering. And as long as you have it off the top where the corkscrew is, you should be fine. So now that we are ready, I'm actually going to take this bottle of wine outside after I go find a nice shoe that I won't mind slamming against the wall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shoe and you're just gonna stick the bottle of wine into the shoe, okay? And then you're supposed to find a hard surface. Oh my goodness, I'm kinda scared about this. You're supposed to find a hard surface that you can just hit the shoe against and the cork screw is supposed to, or the cork is supposed to come loose. So let's try this. Oh my gosh. And apparently you can't be scared to hit it or it won't work. So the glass is not supposed to break when you do this, so we'll keep on going. Okay. Starting to think this is a myth. Yeah, I don't know. It's not coming out right now, so let me uh Hold on, I'm gonna get a different shoe to try. Go Ooh, get a second. different shoe, put a little twist on them with a the heel. So let's try this again. Okay, this is so working. since that didn't work, we're gonna try another attempt. Again, for all of you at home that want to get into this wine bottle really bad but you just don't have any way to do it so I went and found a screw screwdriver even though it's not the right one and a pair of pliers so I'm gonna see what I can work with this again don't laugh I'm trying to figure out how to do it when you don't have much to work with so like me being a female I don't have any tools so you can see the tools that I do have are rusted and fun and all right so since my screwdriver wasn't working real well I'm gonna hold my pliers and just turn my bottle and let it just kind of go down there and it seems to be going down a little bit you reposition Determined to get into this bottle. Alright, guys, getting there little by little, but we're making progress. Alright, so I'm hoping I have this down far enough to be able to grab onto the screw now and pull the cork out. So, Again, I've never done this stuff before, so this is trial and error. Don't know how it's gonna work out, but we're gonna find out together. Ugh, my 
goodness. This is not an easy cork, I'll tell you that much. Mm. Okay, so this is hard. All right, guys, I've given up. So Copyright. none of those things worked for me. As you can see, I'm kind of all dirty now and have uh, some grease on me. So I said forget it and I just went and bought me a wine opener. So for all of you that wanted to know, these tricks and stuff might work for some people and it might work really great for them, but for me, it does not. So I just went ahead and went with the old fashioned corkscrew Oh my goodness, and it's still giving me trouble. Oh, finally. So, Miss Nancy, after all this hard work, I just wanted to say, all of us at Alta Citizen wish you a happy birthday. Cheers. <laughs>